channel Peculiar Collection. So today I'm going to be doing a video of flip through of journal number 12. I'm so excited. I just want to say I'm sorry for the little glare, the little ghosting happening over here. This is my camera and where I'm filming my camera there is ghosting happening on this side. I have my computer over here and stuff. So I'm very sorry for this new setup but it's the setup that you guys are just going to get. And you guys are going to have to deal with the fact that there's ghosting here. I can't really change it, do anything about it. So I did get a new camera and I'm still figuring out how to get the lighting perfectly. Because right now it's making my, my journal look like a ghost. Like if you look up closely, the lighting here will start changing and look all glittery. But putting it down, it looks kind of ghosty. Okay, that kind of looked good. But it's going to look ghosty. I'm very sorry that the paper is very white in this video. I'm still figuring out this camera and how to make it better. There is some noise downstairs. I'm hoping you guys can be okay with noise. I cannot stop people from talking and making noises. I have an autistic uh, sister, so I cannot stop her from making noises. Just bear with me. It's a hot mess in this video. But anyway, we're going to start making a video of this flip through. I'm rambling on about junk, and let's get on. So when I started this journal, I actually did a journal I never finished previously to this. I was in a journaling um, slump, so I decided I would start a new journal seeing if that would make me want to journal more with a new journal. This journal had fall and, win and winter vibes for me because the inside is like folly and the outside is like winter. So I decided I'm going to use this journal. I got this last Christmas um, from a boyfriend and then this Christmas I got, I decided to use it. It's been a year since I got it I want it. I just decided to use it. At the beginning of this journal, you're going to see that I didn't really do much in it. I also forgot to write when I finished this journal, which was on January... Well, actually, I think I did write that. Oh, yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. So this is the inside cover. Um, this does come off, and it would just be a plain white glittery journal, but... Yes. So... I started this on October 7, 2020 and finished it January 31st, 2021. What happened is at the very beginning I wasn't too motivated. There were a couple of days where I was so stressed out I just completely stopped journaling. Which is okay for people to stop. I don't feel like you have to force yourself when you can't journal to journal. Because then you look back at your journal and be like, oh crap. I journaled all these days but I wasn't in the mood so my journal looks really crappy. Don't do that because me when I try journaling, when I'm not in journaling mood... I just don't like how the journals turn out. And this was journal number 12, which I'm very excited I got done. Woohoo. So the stickers I put in here is I decided from my prescription box I got from Sticky Club. I don't do their prescription anymore. Not that I don't like their prescription. I really love their prescription. It's just I don't use their prescription because money and stuff right now. But I did put a couple of like fall stickers here. Saw so, uh, an acorn that's really hard to see, but I guess you can see better on camera. Um, this uh, rainbow, because I was just bored. I got this from Michael's Craft Store and decided to just throw it in here because Christmas happened in here. So I want to put a Christmas sticker here. And it was also fall at one point, so I put some fall stickers. And I don't know why aliens were in this thing. Literally, I could have decorated this whole thing with stickers, but I don't have that much stickers. I'm planning to gain more stickers and more wash tape for my stack. And I'm not going to show you this first page, because the first page is an all about me page. Phone number, address, and everything about me is in there that is personal, so I'm keeping that to myself, so I'm skipping that page. So the first page we go to, I wasn't planning to do... Um, a calendar because I do have a happy planner that has a calendar in it. I just couldn't let myself not have a calendar in a journal. It just didn't feel right. I love calendars and journals because sometimes I'll use a calendar in a journal and then reflect it in a planner. So it's all I could just look back. Oh yeah, I remember the date where I was hanging at a friend. Let's write that date in my journal. Like you know, things that happen here. I can always look in my journal. So that's my uh, reason why. A lot of these uh, calendars look really cr like just like I just smudged it into a uh, side of the page, and that's how the theme went. And this is my cover for October. I didn't write too much in October or November because I wasn't as motivated, like I said. I was motivated, but 
also going through a lot and wasn't as motivated at the same time. Not until January, I got almost daily. So here I did, um, right here I did pumpkin. I put pumpkins down here, pumpkin on a pie, and also a Timmy's Tim Portons drink. Because I'm Canadian, we have Tim Portons. So that was the theme for this. A lot of pumpkins, because we do Thanksgiving in October in Canada. Then the U.S. do it a little differently, but that's just how we do it in there. So a lot of these pages are just not really finished. I wasn't really motivated into it. A lot of that just junk that I'm just going to skip a lot of these pages. I did do a Thanksgiving page, never finished that, but these washi tapes I have on here do smell like pumpkin. They are discontinued from Michael's Craft Store. I was thank I was thankful to even get some at the time when they still had it, but they are, um, you know, sadly discontinued. I really wish. Don't remember this date. Like some of these are just not really good. Here, I decided to add some stickers to uh, jazz up my day. I did spend time with boyfriend uh, Halloween. We didn't really go out for Halloween, but we did spend some time, and I wrote about it. Nothing here. I was going to do a quote, and I could go back and write the quote in it. Just never did get to writing the quote. And that was all I did for um, October as I was going through very, very much a lot. And I just couldn't get myself to journal at that time, so I didn't. Now we're in November, and I have Remembrance Day in November for us Canadians. So that is my November calendar for 2020. We got, like, Remembrance Day stuff, like war, the poppies, and just someone died in poppy. Let's just be more of it much. And, uh, again, wasn't too motivated to be writing a lot. So most of my crafting is basically looking like shit. And I am sorry that it looks like shit. So there are a couple of drawings in here. Like, I don't know. I was just not... I was more motivated in near November, but I don't know. And in this page, I am I put the uh, paper clip in it because it does have an article that says where I live so I don't want to put the article in there that says where I live we got some love stuff going on and I never really did finish so like you say most of the beginning of the journal wasn't good near the uh near the end of November I was starting to get more motivated I tried doing a Christmas movie checklist, but I never watched a lot of movies. I was surprised I didn't even watch Christmas Story, which is one of my favorite movies to watch every year. And I didn't watch Home Alone 2, but I watched all Santa Claus on uh, Disney Plus, because I have Disney Plus. And then uh, Christmas Story is on Disney Plus, or I don't know if it's still on there in Canada, but it is on there. It was on there. I don't know if it's still on there. Never checked. Just never got around to watching it. I was actually kind of bummed out because I watched it almost every Christmas. It was like a Christmas tradition for myself. I want to make that a Christmas tradition for my kids watching Christmas Story every year. That would be a cute Christmas tradition. I'm going to skip this page as well because I don't want to explain the page. And yeah. Then we get to December. And December it wasn't a lot going on. That is my December... Uh, what's it called? Cover page, which is just a Christmas tree, snowman, and yeah, we're in the snow. I found some articles in the newspaper uh, last Christmas or a couple Christmas ago, so they look yellowish, and I decided just to just add them in. I really liked the tradition that was going on for, like, what tradition of why Santa Claus was this weird tradition, and this basically said something about Santa Claus, people would dress up as Santa Claus in, um, a long time ago. I uh, don't remember where. I have to reread this to say it was a tradition 
um, somewhere in Canada. So it was a place in Canada a long time ago. Every witch are supposed to, uh, like Santa Claus. And they'll visit everybody's house, knock at their door, and they're supposed to guess who was dressed up like Santa Claus, who was that person, and which Santa Claus was that person. Um, so basically, the person will knock at your door dressed up as Santa Claus, and you're supposed to guess who that person is in the Santa Claus suit. So I thought that was interesting. So I cut that out of the newspaper a while back, and I just decided to add that in there. So something that happened in Canada, which was a really weird thing. And then I just put the season greeting thing in there from uh, the newspaper. There's really not a lot that I was journaling near this time. I did draw some pictures of like a snowman. And this is a candy cane, um, not candy cane, a gingerbread house. I was playing Minecraft so much that I literally didn't journal. I was like, oh, I'm playing Minecraft. And then I also play Among Us, and I was planning to put a quote here for Among Us. Never got around to it. Don't know why I didn't. I journaled this late at night, very late at night, just drawing Among Us characters. And then I said, the next day I'm going to do a quote. Well, I never got around to it. As you can tell, you're watching this journal, and there's still no quote in it. We just skipped to a lot of boring stuff, as you can see. I don't really did a lot. Here I think I was playing my Switch, uh, and I was doing some stuff. I decided to stick in one snowman. Not snowman, Santa Claus. My bad Santa Claus, sorry. Here I went to, I don't even remember what happened here, but I was hanging out with my boyfriend I guess. And... I don't remember this day. I have to really go back and remember it. But I did decorate this page, so... Something good must have happened while I was decorating. Oh, yeah. That's when my, uh... Boyfriend, I think, came over. And I didn't write anything for this day. I was gonna write, like, just tr put pictures of my Christmas presents. I never did do that. Here, I didn't really write too much. But I just put like some Christmassy uh, stickers there, wrote what I got for Christmas, and then put this uh, item I got from a Christmas uh, shirt. So I got a, two or a couple of shirts from um, our, from Air Postal, not Ardeen's. No, not Ardeen, not Air Postal. Oh, I got American Eagle. And they did a Disney thing, so I really thought this was cute because I love Disney. And I thought that was a cute little tag, so I kept it and put it in my journal. My 2021 goals, I wanted to say goodbye. I did put this on my Instagram, so if you guys are subscribed to my Instagram, which is peculiar.collection without the S. Um, I did do um, this, and it was frustrating to see that they're wanting to uh, basically send people to a link to Coven to get more Coven information just because I wrote hope for no more Coven and they decided down below put a link down there to basically send people to learn more about Coven. Like I I understand we're gonna be in this Coven pandemic for probably a couple more years. I'm hoping maybe only one more year but I just I don't want my whole life to be surrounded by Coven like yes I wrote one thing about Coven but don't go on my Instagram and decide to put down, um, learn more about Colvin, because I already get that everywhere else learn more about Colvin. So now anybody who sees this picture will down below see, learn more about Colvin. That kind of just frustrates me that we have to have every single thing about Colvin. I get it. We're in a pandemic. There's Colvin here. I want to be safe and everything, but sometimes we need a break of hearing from it. We know, because we need something that are away from Colvin. I don't want to hear too much about it. And then I didn't write too much about what I did on New Year's because I was busy partying on video chat with my friends and watching New York Live. Then we start off with uh, January tw um, 2020, which I did not do a cover page for this. Don't I think I just really wanted to get into the journaling. And I couldn't think of what to put for a cover page, so I didn't do one. But I did do the calendar, which there wasn't a lot going on for January. Here I did a lot of whole of God 
Lee stuff and just wrote some different things. I also used watercolor down here. I really think this looks cute. I like it a lot. Didn't write for a couple of days. I was really stressed out and I was trying to write, but when I'm stressed, writing for me just I can't put my mind into thinking straight to write anything. So a couple of days I was going to write and I never did. Really trying to stop doing stuff like this. I got new washi tape, so I ended up putting washi tape down here. And I wanted to track my YouTube for some reason. I decided, well, I wanted to look back and be like, oh, I used to be at that um, amount of numbers. I thought that was actually cool, knowing that I got, so this page here, I wrote down my YouTube, uh, when I got these prescribers. So basically, this was January 8, 2020, when I was categorizing this. I got 138 prescribers. I don't even think I knew when I got 100 prescribers. But I know people make a big deal. Oh my god, I got 100 prescribers. I didn't make a big deal because I think I just not checked my prescriber count until now. And then it was 138. I was like, oh, that's a lot. Because last time I checked, I was probably like in the 90s or under 9, like probably like 60. And I don't even know how I got from 60 to 138. So I decided to document that. Funny thing is, I don't remember what happened to this day. But the next day, I went 139. Yes, the next day I got one more prescriber. And I was like, oh. Now I should have just made 139 to 138. So I just documented that I went from 139. Because I didn't want to make a whole new page saying 139 prescriber. So... I just documented this page saying I got 139 the next day. My friend really likes um, Harry Potter. Like, like Slytherin. But he likes like Draco Malfoy. You know who you are. Um, she watches my videos, so that's why I'm saying that. She likes um, on Draco Malfoy and stuff. She's talking about it so much. I decided to make every single page of Harry Potter theme. Of all the houses. So basically this page is Slytherin. This page is Gryffindor. This page is Hufflepuff. And then we got uh, Ravenclaw. So those are just the pages that I decorated for those. I also put little pictures of people on the bottom. This one doesn't have a person because I couldn't find the color for that person. This day I got back into uh, Roblox and I was playing it and someone gave me $10,000 fake money, not real money, fake Roblox money so I could play in a Bloxbird if you guys know. And this is just my gamer tag and my friend's old gamer tag. At the time I made this, this was his gamer tag but he just recently got a new one. Um, so that's what I did. I basically was playing Roblox and just wanted to document just playing Roblox. Next day, I didn't really write too much because I was just so busy playing Roblox that I forgot what I did that day. There wasn't really much to really write about. Here I was playing Roblox again. I also played Adopt Me, which I don't normally play that, so it's not really my favorite game. But I just want to document that I was on my friend's account and he got bees and I got a new uh, rare animal. I don't play Adopt Me as much, so... There's not a lot of animals I own, because I rarely play that game. Then here, I guess I was having one of those sleepy, weird days. So I went right back to sleep after playing Roblox for just a little bit. And had a rare, weird dream. And it was on a Sunday, I didn't know what else to write, so I just wrote, Chill and do nothing, chill and do nothing, chill. Do nothing and chill. My bad. Do nothing and chill. So that was just something I found on the internet, I just wanted to put it in here. So as you can tell, I'm starting to get decorative. January was my year. Um, I need to stop saying I'm a lot because that's what I'm going to be doing in a lot of this video. Not much written here, but I did watch YouTube. My uh, boyfriend told me that his dentist was telling him he shouldn't be drinking a lot of pop because it's really bad for him. So I wrote no pop. I speak to his uh, sister's disability with him. 
here, this looks like an LGBTQ um, page, but really I just wanted to write some rainbow. I have nothing against LGBTQ at all. I'm just saying this wasn't really intended to be one, but if somebody thinks that this is LGBTQ, it's fine by me. It wasn't really what I was thinking, but once I put Find Your Own Rainbow, it kind of made me think, oh, okay, this looks LGBTQ to me. I just really wanted to make a rainbow page. I don't really care what you guys think of this page. You guys can think this is LGBTQ flag, and I would accept it. I don't really care what you guys uh, think. You can think that if you want. I have no against it. It's just, it wasn't what it was tended to be. After I made it, I realized it looked a lot like it, and I should just accept that it might just be one. And then I just decorated this, and I never finished this page at all, and I put, like, burger and fries because I got McDonald's that day. And here I was watching a YouTuber, um, Cam Fam, and this quote just came to my mind. I just made this up, and it says, In order to be a beautiful butterfly, you must trust in the process. I made that up. I looked it up online to see if it was already made so I can give credit to the person. I just came up on the top of my head. So there's something similar to it, but not written in the same way as that I've written it. So basically, I kind of came up with my own quote, thinking of her situation. I'm not going to say what her situation is. That's something that you'll have to go to her channel and learn more about her situation. So I just wrote, you, darkness, then new. So basically, you are the caterpillar. The darkness is the crystal, then, the, then new is the butterfly. So basically, it's like how... You go in darkness, and then you come back out as a strong butterfly, independent, beautiful butterfly. You just have to go through some crap to become beautiful. Not beautiful like in makeup way, but beautiful like there's a new you, you're more happier, more like, you know, just more bright, alive, and everything. You just go through your crap to become this beautiful new person, aka new butterfly. And then here, I guess, there was fighting day, so I wrote hate fighting, and I was also burnt out. There's not much I'm going to say about this page. But I do really like drawing fire and put burnt out. I don't know why, I think I just like how it turned out. This day, I did a blueprint of what my house looks like in Bloxburg. And this is just a collage of some stickers because I really didn't want to write any more on this day. So I just put a bunch of stickers to kind of give it some space. I wanted more stickers, but I couldn't. I don't have a lot of stickers. So I didn't want to waste all of them because I want to purposely use them for stuff. If I had a lot that I could use for a collage, I would make a collage out of stickers. And then this one was just talking about how I'm excited for my journal flip through that you guys are seeing now. Trying to get this done fast as my camera's about to die, and I thought it died on me, but it didn't. So let's get on to it. This day, I just was talking about how I didn't really like my boyfriend singing, and some other stuff that went on. Basically, his singing. Sorry. And I really do like how I did some stripes on here. I was watching another YouTuber who does journaling, and... First, I saw stripes in her journal, and I was like, I really want to try stripes in my journal. Not that I was trying to copy or anything, it's just, I just really thought that was, like, neat, and I wanted to try my journal. I actually liked it, but I kind of wish, instead of leaving it white, I did, like, another color green. That would have looked more nicer. And then, this is, uh, Friday, I... Uh, got money, and I ordered this desk that you guys are seeing now. And my my mom gave me birthday money. I was having a blast. Not really having a blast, but I didn't spend all my money, but I basically just got my birthday money, talked to a friend, and my mom got me a birthday cake, and I was having a good day, sort of. Just a normal good day, I guess. And then this day, I guess I was really mad, but I decided to do fonts like this. I wanted to try it out. I actually really like doing that. I always wanted to do it, but I was never, like, confident to really do a font like this and make it look nice. It's not the best, but I like having where the letters of, like, each day is bolded. And then down here I'll say the actual date I wrote it in. Sorry you're hearing noises because I have an autistic sister, but I didn't already tell you that. 
And last but not least was Sunday. And this was just a day that was just, I don't remember, but I did play Roblox and I did eat a cupcake and I'm excited that my birthday is the next day. So, yeah, which the next day is today, the day I'm filming it, February 1st, which is my birthday. So, you guys, I don't know when you guys are going to see this, but this was filmed on my birthday and I'm excited to be done. I do have a lot of leftover pages here, but... That is my journal. So I hope you guys like seeing my journal flip through. And I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye!